But here is here comes another thing. Can you actually connect Bluetooth headphones? Here is another thing. If you do connect Bluetooth headphones, there may be a delay. Nice. Nice. You have this nice. big ass. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not going to take it with me to the freaking airport, but. Uh... This is so cool. this is so cool that you can just have this big ass screen in your living room and transform your whole place into something else. Absolutely amazing killer. So I, I created this video yesterday. It's called MetaQuest 3S the VR resolution. So the VR revolution is here. I recommend that you guys check this video out. Just give it give it a like. I will appreciate that so much. So Takesco, he's a very nice person, man. He actually asked um yeah he was curious to use headphones you will need bluetooth right i'm guessing they fixed the audio delay and i basically told him that i that that was a good question i will cover this in another video so what can we actually find it didn't have any port for audio you have to use the USB C, or it has an immersive spatial audio that you have, that you have to use yourself metaquest free version uh what is called version 71 the most, uh, what is it called, ever since updating my headset has been acting, well, that's a version thing. Uh, part of the reason I've avoided signing up for better OS on my device here, it's cool to see new stuff earlier and spot, blah, 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 blah. Same issue for me, what did it say? The animals that got that doesn't know how to explain. This doesn't really help us. If you use Bluetooth headphones on the free as free, will they use the headphone mic? That's not really the answer that we are looking for. Connect a compatible Bluetooth device. Why does it need to be compatible? Uh, what version of Bluetooth is the headphone using and what version of Bluetooth is the headphone using? Using compatible Bluetooth accessories with MetaQuest can enrich your experience, help you feel more immersed, and that's what we want, or be more productive. I don't think people are using it for that. Some Bluetooth accessories may include gamepads, keyboards, fitness accessories. I really don't hope they're trying to make their own ecosystem out of these things, but uh, it looks like it. So want a better VR experience? Ditch the Bluetooth headphones. So this is for the Quest 3. It came out in March 14, 2014. Here is the thing. If you use Bluetooth, right, it has too much latency. Bluetooth always has a higher laten lat latency than a wide device connection. The time delay is usually not noticeable, not, not nos noticeable with keyboards, mice and other mouse key yeah that's what it's called a pc mouse and other basic accessories but audio requires more data why guys because it has yeah it basically requires more data that needs to be sent over the connection and there are some bluetooth headphones that are designed to reduce it this like the razor hammerhead true wireless earbud but if you reduce something like that like that you also have to compress the the data which means you are compressing the quality you don't get every single Byte of information or data with you which means that it lacks the quality of your audio so you may get the audio faster but it will definitely lack something so bluetooth audio normally works fine for watching videos because some devices can synchronize videos to the audio delay but that doesn't work for games it especially doesn't work for vr games trust me which needs to be re uh, responsive as uh, as as responsive as possible to avoid creating motion sickness so we are just left with this Beat Saber as a perfect test of how audio delay can kill your VR experience. We don't want that, guys. We definitely want, don't want to kill our VR experience. So what do we do? Should you use a Bluetooth headphones or wired connection for better audio? Well, we have three options, guys. We actually have three options. So I also did a Google search for this. And we actually have three options. And I basically, I'm pulling up my ChatGPT over here. I asked it for the MetaQuest 3S audio options. Coming in at a starting price at $299 with 8 GBs of RAM, full color pass through with mixed reality experiences, the Snapdragon XR2 Generation 2 processor, everything is amazing, guys. Don't forget the mixed reality. What are the audio options? So here is our answer, What the thing that we are looking for. You will have no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack unlike the quest 3 which you can basically just plug it in and you're good to go which is awesome no but there's uh there's another way there's an alternative you it will if you want private audio if you want a wide connection it's not private audio it's basically just if you want a wide connection you are gonna have to use the usb-c port so you're either gonna have to buy a cheap adapter not cheap but you are either gonna have to buy a dongle adapter for the USB-C port and for your 3.5 millimeter jack 
or you can use just use the built-in speakers which most people are going to do in the beginning or you can use the bluetooth headphones you don't want to use bluetooth headphones if you're watching some yeah if you're playing games but if you want to if you're going to watch some videos or some movies you can do that i'm not saying anything you don't need a bluetooth transmitter connected via the usb oh my days you even so your usb c port is going to get occupied by something and that has to be your audio if you don't but the most normal or standard thing to, to do here is just the uh, the meta quest 3s includes spatial audio via its built-in speakers which is similar to the quest 2 and quest 3 these speakers offer an immersive audio experience without the need for external headphones they are an open ear they are uh, but they are open ear meaning you'll you'll hear sur surrounding as well that is totally okay guys I don't think it's going to take away from the from the experience itself, but it will definitely be better with a wide connection using the USB-C port, guys. You guys need to really consider buying a dongle or something like that, or buying headphones specifically for this use case. So that is your answer. What I'm going to do is I'm just I'm just going to use it like sometimes. So I'll just I'll be fine with the built-in speakers for the for the quick VR experience. It's going to be so awesome. But if I really do want to play like a Batman Arkham or Beat Saber or something like that, you definitely need headphones or wide connection, which is which you can do, but you just need some some adapter, some dongle, USB-C. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. See you on the next.